Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're learning about probability. Probability is measured on a scale from 0 to 1, like this, where 0 represents impossible events and 1 represents certain events. In the middle we've got 0 0.5 or a half and that means events that are half the time going to happen and half the time are not going to happen. Less than 0 0.5 represents unlikely events and more than 0 0.5 represents likely events. Let's see some examples. So the probability of seeing a unicorn is zero. The probability of someone being less than 200 years old is definite. So you cannot have someone more than 200 years old. So they definitely must be uh, less. And so that has a probability of one. The pa chance of passing a test without revision will be unlikely. The weather being sunny in summer is quite likely. And the chance of rolling an even number on the dice is a half, because half the numbers on the dice are even. Now, as a key fact here, all probabilities must add up to one. For example, on a, uh, t a coin, you might have the probability of heads and the probability of tails. That must add up to one, because there's no other options. And the probability of it being sunny, add the probability of it not being sunny, must also be one. Those two probabilities will always add up to one. Let's look at some examples of exam style questions on this. So a fair six-sided dice is rolled. What is the probability of getting a three? So uh, there is one three on a dice out of six possible sides. That is a one out of six probability, and we write it as a fraction. There's one way to get a six, uh, sorry, one way of getting a three, out of six possible outcomes, so it's one out of six. Now it's the probability of getting an even number. Well, there are three even numbers out of six, so the probability is three out of six. We can simplify that fraction though, and we always simplify fractions in maths to be one half. Now finally, what's the probability of not a five, getting a one, two, three, four, or six, so anything that's not a five? Well, the probability of getting a 5 is 1 out of 6. There's 1 chance out of 6. But the probability of not getting a 5 will be 1 minus that. So we subtract the probability of getting a 5 from 1 to find the probability of it not happening. So 1 minus 1 sixth is the same as 6 sixths minus 1 sixth, because 1 is the same as 6 sixths. And that gives us 5 sixths. Okay, and so the probability of not getting a 5 is 5 out of 6. Just remember, the probability of something not happening is 1 minus the probability that it does happen. Example 2. A biased spinner can land on different colours. The probabilities are displayed in the table below. The word biased here means that it can, has a better chance of landing on certain colours than other colours. Maybe it's weighted in such a way that yellow is a heavier side than the rest of the colours. So we're going to calculate the probability of uh, scoring a green or orange. Now we have got a clue here. It says the probability of green is 3x and the probability of orange is x. And so I think we're going to have to do a bit of algebra here. And the trick is to realise that all these probabilities will add up to 1. So we add up all those probabilities, and we make them equal to 1. We need to do a bit of simplifying now. So the first three numbers are all numbers, we can add those together. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 is the same as 0 0.6. Then we've got the x's, 3x plus x is 4x. We have simplified that equation very nicely. We need to get rid of the 0 0.6 by moving it to the other side. We subtract. 1 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.4. And so we've got 4x is equal to 0 0.4. And we divide by 4, we get x is equal to 0 0.1. And therefore, 3x will be 3 times bigger, will be 0 0.3. We now know the probability of green is 0 0.3, and the probability of orange is 0 0.1. So we replace those numbers in the table here. The spinner is spun 80 times. 
How many times would you expect it to land on blue? Okay, so we're going to do 80 times 80 times 0 0.1. That's the same as 8. 80 times 0 0.1 is 8. That is the number of times we spin times the probability of success gives us a likely number of successful outcomes. That's a really important equation in maths. So the number of trials, number of times you attempt it, times the probability of success, gives you a good estimate of the number of times it's likely to happen. Okay, now there's some practice questions for you to try. So pause the video now and see if you can get, uh, answer these yourself. It should take about five to 10 minutes. When you're ready, press play and I'll reveal your answers in three, two, one. Did you get it correct? Let me know how well you did in the comments. Thanks for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We're covering GCSE, A-level and IB Maths videos, uh, so it really should help you prepare for your exams. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.